Ghostbrother with the key of imagination. <laughs> What's up, Battle Buddies? It is New Year's Day. And we're just having a chill, relaxing day at Hollywood Studios. The crowds are a little less than what we've seen the last two days. So we're just enjoying it. It's actually our first time visiting Hollywood Studios since we got our annual passes. And we've already done quite a bit. I mean, we finally got to ride Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Ra Railway for the first time after, I don't know if you watched our Disneyland video, but it was chaotic. But we're gonna have some dinner reservations later and yeah, we're just here to have a relaxing day and come along and join us. So this video is going to be a little bit different. Just us walking around and figuring out the park because it's been 12 years since we've been to Hollywood Studios. Incredible. <laughs> hey. You gotta keep it going. The bad guys. Pow, pow, pow. <laughs> Feel the plates? Yeah, they're like glass. They're they look like paper plates. I like them. They're so cool. And they made it pretty easy. Oh yeah. Uh, they just told you everything you're getting, what to expect. Yeah. So I thought you chose three sides or like two sides, however many sides for your table. They said that we're just getting all the meat and all the sides, so we just get to try everything. Good, because I was getting a little overwhelmed on having to pick. <laughs> I mean, it just tastes like watermelon. I don't taste much of the mint or anything on it, but it's refreshing. It's like a little piece of mint. You'll taste it with the mint. It goes without saying, but it, you you taste the mint with the if it's on the watermelon. I mean, of course you're gonna taste it if it's on there, but I don't really taste it that much unless it's on there. I don't even know where to start. Oh, well, you already tried it. Is it good? Oh wow! You can see like the little pockets of butter. I don't know if you can see that. A Not a mouthful of butter, but like. A mouthful of butter because it's all evenly coated. It's cheese in there too. It's like little specks of cheese. Oh, that's interesting. That's so freaking good. Well, Leo says sweet and salty, flaky and buttery. Not dry at all. Like the biscuit on its own is really good, but with the jam, it elevates it. Really? Can you like it, Alia? Okay. I normally would stay away from the jelly, but you're right. They pair together. Okay, that is good. All right, so we just got our food, <laughs> all of it. So anyway, Aaliyah's got a good um, she got good knowledge on taste. She narrowed that jelly down. It tastes like a salsa infused with jelly. So if you were to make salsa into a jam, that's what exactly what it tastes like. Keep us safe around these parts. On behalf of all of us here, we thank you for your service. All right, so we didn't go for round two. It, we, we couldn't look. We still have some meat left over. And some more mac and cheese. And then another bowl of mac and cheese. We didn't even eat all the biscuits. <laughs> no, and we still have dessert. Um, and it's required. <laughs> you can't leave without it. It's stuck you pay for it so you have to kind of eat it but yeah we're full like miserably full and I can eat I eat a lot I'm full all right so we just left Woody's Roundup Rodeo barbecue and wow I'm stuffed we couldn't even get any more food it was just so much and 
It was so good and not the you know traditional barbecue that you would expect, but definitely worth checking out if you're ever able to get a reservation for there. And I think that's it for my night here. I am exhausted, I am full, I'm ready to go back to the hotel and sleep. So thank you so much for following along and then we'll catch you next time. Oh. <laughs> So for Roundup Rodeo Barbecue, I think I would give the theming a five out of five. It was really inclusive. It really just puts you in there. You feel like toys, basically. And what I really liked is that for people's birthday, they don't say like, we're celebrating a birthday. They say we, we're celebrating an unboxing because we're all toys in there. So I thought that was really cool. The barbecue, I give it a four out of five. I mean, it's different than what you're used to, but it was very good, especially for theme park food, I feel. Um, the dessert, I give it a three out of five. It's not my traditional go-to type of desserts, but it's very good to end your night with, you know, like the cheesecake that they got, very light on the palate to kind of finish off all that heavy barbecue you just had. Overall, I give the whole experience a four out of five. <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> That's what I thought about the restaurant. All right, so barbecue, I'm gonna say four out of five. Isn't that a five out of five because I've had be better barbecue but for a theme park, like Brianna just said, four out of five is really freaking good. Uh, my favorite meats in order would probably be the rib. After the rib would be the chicken, be the sausage, and then after the sausage, the brisket. That's my, what? Huh? Okay. The sausage, in order, I would probably say classic. After classic would be sweet, and after sweet would be spicy. I like spicy, but that spicy just didn't have flavor. It was just like Tabasco and molasses. Like it was just, it didn't buy for me. So dessert, I got the uh, lemon blueberry cheesecake. I give that a three out of five. It was good, but it didn't wow me. And I was also already full too. So overall theming, I'm gonna give a five out of five. They do little things. So like we're all toys in there. So when Andy comes out, you have to stay still and you can't move. And then I also like that they gave like a shout out to all the toy soldiers, or the real soldiers, you know what I'm saying? But we're all toys. So I thought that was really cool that they gave us a little shout out. So that was freaking awesome. Unexpected too, by the way. The pricing though is, ouch. You're competing with like high level restaurant pricing. So uh, it's probably a one and done, maybe once every few years. So yeah, that's my take. My barbecue rating is based pretty much the same as mom and dada's. I really like the barbecue. My most favorite is definitely the barbecue chicken. I really like barbecue chicken. My second is probably either the brisket or ribs. And I don't really like sausage, so I didn't really taste the sausage. Five out of five. And your dessert? I agree, like a three, four out of five. It was really good. We were very full though. The I got the same dessert as Dada. It was very sour, sweet. I really like the the thing at the bottom, the graham crackers. That that was really good. It, it tasted amazing with the topper with the top layers. The theme was really cute. I was so excited for the for when Annie comes in. It only happened twice. Um, the Toy Soldiers, and they're honoring soldiers. It was Toy Soldiers. That was really cool. Unboxing day instead of birthday. Those little details made it very enjoyable. Overall experience, I'd say five out of five. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. This is our first day back. Well, our first day of the New Year's here, and mm -hmm. our first time being here in freaking forever, over 12 years. So. This was awesome, it was a great experience. We got to try a new restaurant and just bring in the new year just in a different way. We didn't do too much today, it was just a relaxing day. I mean, we have so much going on. Yeah. We had so much going on already. Uh, I feel like this year we're gonna slow down just a little bit because it's gonna pick up back again like a roller yeah. coaster. Because so. we have a move coming up, so we have to kind of yes. prepare for that. So. But, I mean, it's New Year's Day and we got to ride most of the rides we wanted to without Genie Plus, so. so definitely worth it. So thank if you. you haven't already, please like and subscribe and uh, yeah. happy New Year's guys. Happy New Year's and thank you so much and continue to follow along. Right, bye.
journal is about family. Got the coolest friend in the world. 